hello everyone uh, myself uh, rakesh mr i published one paper uh, with the title design and simulation of four stage pipelining architecture using the verilog in ijsr in uh, that is published in volume 3 issue 3 march 2014 so here here in this uh, presentation we will go going to see some of the uh, topics or uh, some of the things related to this paper so these are the contents uh, we are going to see in the coming uh, slides first we will go for uh, abstract of this paper the computer or any device uh, use the concept of parallelism uh, for speed up of the um, system operation that means mainly we are uh, taking one concept called pipelining and uh, we are going to perform our uh, instruction execution parallelly and by that that will uh, increase your uh, speed that is system speed or device speed also that will increase your throughput here mainly we divided our uh, uh, stages in th that is pipeline stages uh, uh, four stages are there one is uh, fetch decode execute and store by using these four stages we are going to perform parallelism your introduction is uh, uh, you know about uh, instruction instruction definition uh, here uh, we have computer what to do that means instruct your instruction will instruct your computer what to do that is called instruction so we have set of instruction uh, uh, we are going to fetch that instruction from the memory and we are going to decode that we are going to execute that we are going to store it back here uh, the simple term every line of your program that we as a user write instruct the computer to perform series of operations the what to be done in an instruction is broken into smaller step so as we discussed we are dividing to smaller step each of which uh, takes a fraction of the time needed to complete the entire instruction it is a process by which the computer retrieves a program instruction from its memory determines what action the instruction requires and carries out those actions but thing is uh, in modern uh, cpu here instruction cycle is instead executed concurrently that means parallelly so uh, thing is the next instruction start being processed before the previous instruction is finished so we are going to start our next instruction we are going to fetch our next instruction before previous is finished that means uh, uh, you, if you have two instructions we are going to fetch second one but when you are going to fetch second one first one is not completed it is in execution stage or uh, it is in decode stage or it, it is in storing stage then uh, then only we are going to fetch the second one when second one is processing we are going to fetch third one so this is called parallelism oh, we are going to see the concept of pipelining uh, you know about a risk processor reduce the instruction set computer so there we are going to apply this parallelism uh, pi pipelining or parallelism accurately allows the multiple instruction to overlap in execution that is called pipelining here in uh, pipelining data path is divided into subsequent stages here each stage is given an input from the previous stage perform a specific operation on the given input and passes the resulting output to the next stage in the data path pipelining it is a reduction in the average execution time you know if you are going for uh, pipelining so we are going to uh, take or we are going to fetch the next instruction before previous is finished so by that we can decrease our uh, uh, completion time or execution time for that particular instruction so if you are having 10 instructions uh, we can complete that instruction 10 all 10 instruction execution within very small time in the pipelining concept so that will also uh, increase your uh, throughput 
the time required for moving the instruction from one stage to next is called machine cycle apparently greater number of stages always provide better performance you know if your number of stages number of pipeline stages increases performance increases but one disadvantage is with the number of stages the complexity of the cpu also grows complexity grows but but performance also grows so you have to take care about that performance and complexity pipeline is achieved the sub task into which instruction execution has been divided or instruction fetch decode execute store four stages we divided each of these sub task which is executed by pipeline stage produce intermediate result that must must be stored before an instruction may move on to the next stage we have to store temporarily by breaking up execution into smaller sub task it is possible to overlap the different sub sub task of the several different instructions simultaneously the intermediate result of the various sub task are not stored they would be lost there is a chance of losing your uh, data okay temporarily we have to store that so here we have concept of pipeline that is uh, unpipeline non pipeline concept and pipeline concept now you can see non pipeline concept here in this so we have fetch decode execute store we have four stages here in this paper and uh, we are going to take one instruction means first that is goes to fetch then decode then execute then store then only we are going to take second instruction once their first one is completed then only we are going to fetch second one then decode then execute then store next after completion of second instruction we are going to fetch third one this is the called unpipeline or non pipeline concept so here uh, throughput is very less also uh, time required to complete the set of instructions are uh, very high in order to decrease that we are going for uh, pipeline concept you can see here Uh, we have fetch we have decode we have execute and store when you're going to fetch the first instruction then we are going to uh, send that instruction to decode stage first instruction then when your first instruction is in decode stage immediately we are going to fetch second instruction when the second instruction goes to decode stage first instruction goes to execute stage we are going to fetch the third one third instruction so this will continue like this so set of instructions we are going to fetch decode execute and store and time required to execute that is very less in this pipeline concept what is the performance in pipeline performance is actually high pipelining increases the cpu instruction throughput uh, the number of instruction completed per uh, unit time but it does not reduce the execution time of individual instruction you won't uh, reduce your particular one instruction uh, time but uh, overall average time is decreased in addition to limitation arising uh, from the pipeline latency there is a concept called pipeline latency uh, we are going to see that uh, in uh, another paper but uh, here in the pipeline in this uh, paper we are not uh, going for mainly hazard we not concentrated on hazard we ignored our hazard concept pipeline hazards just uh, we developed one method uh, of four stage pipeline in uh, software that is xilinx here for unpipelined uh, the clock per instruction can be high uh, but uh, by the use of pipelining cpi that is a clock per instruction decreases that means the speed increases we have four uh, stages of pipeline we already discussed about that fetch decode execute and store let us see one by one but uh, uh, first one is a uh, instruction fetch so what we are going to do in the uh, fetch stage in this uh, mainly uh, instruction to be executed next is fetched from the memory so that address of that instruction is there in program counter once that program counter loaded that sorry once that program counter address is there right that we are going to fetch from the memory then uh, uh, 
from memory we are going to take that instruction into CPU uh, once it is uh, fetched automatically your program counter increases that you can see here PC plus 1 incremented by 1 uh, then uh, fetched instruction is uh, goes to decode stage um, once the instruction register is loaded with the instruction decoding of the instruction along with the upper end fetching start so operand you know about operand that what is that one instruction we have uh, of code and operands operand may be uh, two or more uh, or one or more uh, op code op code will uh, op code uh, is a operation to be done okay uh, that will uh, specify operation to be done so that is op code and operands are data or uh, immediate data or registers uh, like that so here uh, uh, operand fetch starts depending upon the instruction format we have r i j you know about that we have different types of instruction formats opcode along with the function code field are uh, used to decode the instruction the thing is uh, here in execution stage uh, whatever decoded uh, part is there so instruction decode then after that we are going getting execution stage decoded instruction comes to execution there we have data there we have opcode opcode will perform your operation on data Th that means the uh, operand so if uh, data is there in registers anyway we have uh, register set in your cpu there we have your set of datas and uh, opcode will perform uh, operation on that data and gets the output so we have different types of uh, uh, of codes uh, we have arithmetic instructions we have sort of set up of codes data transfer instructions we have set up of codes control instruction also we have some set up of codes so execution stage is a one of the main stage in the pipeline then we have uh, last that is a in four stage pipeline last stage is a store in the store stage uh, we have in this stage here uh, whatever you got output in the previous state that is execution stage that we are going to store it back in the memory what are the applications of uh, uh, pipeline pipeline which uh, you know already it increases the throw output and decreases the uh, speed sorry increases the speed itself so throw output also increases speed also increases time required to execute the uh, set of instruction is decreases so time decreases but speed increases the processes can be uh, used not only in traditional computing applications such as desktop laptop workstation but also component in the another piece of technology such as either cell phone digital camera portable digital assistant etc uh, we uh, actually divided our uh, pipeline stages into four stage one is a fetch decode execute and store and uh, we used one of the uh, simulation software called model sim and we used another software xilinx to write the code for the all four stages once we uh, written coding xilinx then uh, uh, we are going to execute that in simulator that is a um, uh, we use in model sim simulator to execute that uh, we got a uh, particular uh, simulation output for that four different stages so we written our code in Verilog uh, that is a hardware description language the Verilog coding we used to write the code for the fetch decode execute and store stages now let us see our uh, uh, output we got this output that is a uh, fetch stage we have waveforms here and then uh, we have a circuit schematic here then for the decode stage also waveform here then schematic diagram here then uh, execute stage we got uh, waveform and uh, schematic and last stage is a store waveform and schematic so like this uh, we uh, successfully completed that uh, design and uh, simulation of uh, that particular uh, four stage pipeline concept uh, in model sim 
also in uh, xylem so your thing is uh, uh, this paper uh, i published in uh, uh, that means i prepared in 2014 so later we have lot of uh, inventions on that so uh, here the conclusion means uh, uh, whatever we have conclusion here that is uh, i done in uh, 2014 i completed in 2014 that's why um, based only that paper uh, is uh, explained here the pipelining concept uh, takes a lot of advantage in many of the system the pipelining has uh, some of the hazard in this paper the hazard concept is ignored okay the pipeline instruction which reduces cpi clock per instruction uh, increases the speed of the execution of operation and increase the throw output here we can improve that so a lot of improvement is already done uh, from 2014 to uh, till now uh, we have a lot of improvement in this uh, pipeline concept and later uh, now also we can improve that uh, pipeline concept so these are the references uh, uh, I consider these uh, things these papers uh, for my reference thank you